All right, the next um, portion of the pajama pants that we are going to attack is the waistline. And the directions read that we should stitch a one-fourth of an inch away from the raw edge of the waistline. And that's going to show us where to press it down uh, as soon as we get the stitching. And the stitching line will be right at the top of this fold. So that's just going to help guide me um, in making a nice, even... Maybe I better shake these out so that you can get out of my way and lay flat. A nice even waistline. And I know from experience that a fourth of an inch away from this raw edge is exactly even with this uh, edge of the presser foot. So I'm ready. I've got that lined up and I'm ready to, to go. So here we go. And I'm just going to go all the way around using the same length of a stitch as I did earlier. And I'll just stitch all the way around until I come back to where I started. All right, I'm about to uh, wind up where I started and I'll keep my threads out of the needle plate. And I'll just stitch over that and raise the presser foot, remove the pajama pants and trim those threads. And now we're ready to move back to the ironing board and I'm going to Turn the edge down, wrong sides together, and just oops, press around. So put the pants uh, over the board, get your iron back, and I'm going to press right along that line of stitching, and that just helps it fold neatly, and it, it, it makes sure that your, your waistband is going to be nice and even, because you, you want it to fit well and hang nicely. And uh, if it doesn't, you're not going to wear them because they're going to be uncomfortable. All right, so we're just going to move all the way around the waistband. You kind of line it up with your fingers. Be careful because the iron is really hot and I'm using steam and that really helps it to uh, stay flat uh, better, but it, steam can burn you just as much as a hot surface. burning my cameraman, am I? <laughs> Puff the steam iron dragon. <laughs> and don't go over your cord. That'd be dumb. <laughs> Alright, so the whole upper portion of the waistband has been pressed down. And I believe the next thing I'm going to do is roll it down. And I need to look and see how far. Alright. The next step of preparing the waistband casing for the elastic is to uh, take that freshly uh, pressed edge and we're going to turn it down one and a fourth inches uh, from this top portion. So I'm going to start at, I guess this is the uh, I don't know, front or back, it really doesn't matter where you start. And we're just going to pin. And so, oh, that's one and a half. That's too far because my elastic is three fourths of an inch. And I want it one and a fourth, and that is just right, right there. And you want to make sure, again, to match up your seam lines, because that just makes a nicer looking garment, and it hangs nicely as well. So I will pin. These pins are quite blunt, unfortunately. And then I will pin that there. And I'm just going to proceed all the way around, measuring as I go. And I think I'm going to switch my direction on my pins to that way. So that'll hold a little bit more. And I'm finished when I come back to this side. So that's a little dull. So I'll be back with you. All right, I jumped the gun a smidge and I went ahead and after I measured, I just put a pin there to hold uh, this folded edge down one and a fourth inches uh, from this edge, and that's the, it's equidistant around. I made sure of that already. But it said on the directions to go ahead and, and press it. Well, I've already pinned it, and I'm not going to take the pins out. But they are plastic, and I don't want them to melt, and I don't want them to melt onto the iron. So I'm just going to very carefully pin around um, my pants waistline. 
mainly getting a nice crease in this top fold. take any time at all and I'm back to where I started and so now I need to check which is the front of my pants and which is the back because I'm going to and that's a little bit tricky when you've got it here so what do I do which is the deeper J I believe this is the front because I can see my pencil marking yes it is all right so I want to start my stitching at the back and I'm going to edge stitch, which means I'm going to stitch right next to the fold. And I, it says that I want to leave a 2 inch opening right here. That's so that I can insert my elastic in as soon as I finish preparing the casing. So let me mark with my pins because I can tell right now that is less than 2 inches. So I need one pin here. And then I'm going to remove that one, and I'm going to, and I made sure that my one inch was at the center seam, and I really need to start it right there in my, or end it there, and I'm going to start my stitching right here where the two is. All right, so let me straighten that pin up, and I'll check it one more time. And you can see my two inch opening. I'm not going to sew that close because I can't stick my elastic in in a few minutes when I'm ready to, uh, <clears throat> to do that. So you leave this part open. All right, let's move over to the sewing machine. And watch how I edge stitch. I'm going to put that presser foot and I'm going to make sure I'm not going to stitch yet. Oops, I'm, I was about to sew that closed after I told you that. How dumb. Put the presser foot down, check with the needle, double check that it's right on the edge and you can see that's just barely a fraction of an inch from the edge and that's where you want it. So I've got that lined up and you're going to proceed slowly around the waistline. And it might be a good idea to just give a little reinforcement by going into reverse for a few stitches because you're going to have some stress on that uh, stitching on both sides as you insert that elastic and work it around uh, the waistline. It gets a little there's a little stress. All right, so you can see as I move around the waistband, I'm going to adjust the pants. I don't want to sew a wrinkle into the fabric and just stay close to that fold and go all the way around until you come back to almost where you started, two inches away from where you started, leaving that opening. All right, I am approaching the end of the stitching. My pin is marked, the two inch gap, and so I'm just gonna stitch to right to there. One more to go, and then I'm gonna reverse my machine by pressing that button down, reinforcing that opening, and I'm coming back at it, and then I'm done. All right, so I can lift my presser foot up and trim my threads, and then I'm, and I'm gonna trim the ones from the beginning and move them out of the way and then I'm going to proceed with my edge stitching on the top of the waistband okay because we do not want the elastic to it's non roll but you don't want it to get twisted and that's real important that's uncomfortable too nobody likes that so I'm going to edge stitch right along starting um, right above that opening but I don't need to leave an opening at the top part because nothing's going to be inserted through there. So I'm going to stitch um, completely around in a circle that meets on its... Oops, that's unfortunate. My needle came unthreaded, so let's re-thread the needle. And I love that automatic threader, except that did I... Nope, I didn't. All right, here we go. Is that lined up? Alright, I'm edge stitching around. 
it's about a little bit just barely away from the fold probably one sixteenth of an inch or thereabouts and every so often you need to stop and readjust your fabric so that you're gonna keep going in a straight line and you can hear I'm not speeding along too quickly because I promise you haste makes waste and nobody likes to rip out a seam worse than I do <laughs> having so much experience at ripping out <laughs> 